where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there McFarland Toys fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. This is one I've been excited about. Um, I've been looking forward to get, getting to this review. And it's not really going to be a very long review. This is a pretty quick one. It's pretty self-explanatory. But this is the McFarland Toys Munitions Pack. This is a weapons accessory pack for all kinds of McFarland Toys 7-inch scale action figures. And it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. You get 15, you get 15 different guns in here. Um, this this is just a really, really cool way to get some accessories for any of your McFarlane toys figures that might be missing some significant accessories or could use some more accessories. You can, you, you can never have too many too many awesome accessories for your action figures. And this is one that I'm glad he's he did. Um, I believe there's another one coming at some point uh, because this one did really well for obvious reason. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. You got a you got a Tommy gun, which looks awesome. You've got a uh, you got a shotgun here. No no articulation on the choke, but you got a shotgun there. That's really cool. You've got a rocket launcher. That's that's pretty sweet. You've got some cool little assault rifles here. Got an AK. That looks really good. That one, that one looks awesome. You get some different pistols. Some, some of which you get pairs of pistols. A little grenade launcher. Another awesome looking assault rifle. Some submachine guns. This big awesome looking assault rifle. That thing, that thing's cool. That thing's really cool. You get I, this kind of looks like Judge Dredd's pistol to me. Kind of. That's that's what that one kind of reminds me of. Um, big old hand cannon. little a little oozy here a gun that I can only assume is for the Joker which we did before before the no guns thing with uh, with uh, Warner Brothers and DC collectible stuff um, we actually did get a Joker figure with a really long uh, pistol so at least we got one in there before before the end, but it's nice to have another one just in case you have another Joker that you want to pair that with. A pair of pistols, some dual some dual dual pistols there, and then another really cool looking pistol. So just just some really cool accessories, stuff to just fill in some gaps, like you know for your. Uh, your peacemaker here who needs his sidearm. Oh, finally. I've I've been waiting on this for so long to finally have a proper weapon accessory for my peacemaker figure. I mean, having the sword and having the uh, hatchet were cool but I would much rather have this. I would trade both of those accessories in a heartbeat for this accessory right here because this is more iconic to Peacemaker in my opinion. I mean, w towards, towards, the, uh, towards the end there, it even got to the point to where some figures would still come with molded sidearms, but even then, it, but then it got to the point to where even that wasn't allowed as you can see peacemaker doesn't have his um 
his gun belt even at all. He, there's there's no holster there for his pistol. That's 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 how bad the no guns thing got with uh, with Warner Brothers. So hopefully. Um, some of those changes that were supposed to come with some of that new leadership does happen. Uh, so far, it seems like things with Warner Brothers has only gotten a lot worse and a lot messier. So who knows what's going on there, but Warner Brothers, I mean, let's face it, we all know that studio is a dumpster fire. And rather than put any, try to put it out, they just keep on adding more fuel to it. So. It, we're not even going to get into all that, but uh, it is nice that we were able to get this, you know, get some weapons for some of these characters that have sorely needed it for quite some time now. Let's see what what's a cool one to pair off with uh, with old Deathstroke here. Um, he's got a sidearm there. Let's go with. Hmm. Let's go with this one. I think I think this one. I think this one's kind of cool for Deathstroke. Just characters that we that we have in our DC Multiverse collection that should have guns and haven't had guns. And now Now we finally have guns for them and it and it looks so cool i mean his sword's awesome but we didn't even get his ballistic staff which i guess is a thing we can get now because one of the newest um, upcoming death strokes the black and white one that's going to be a target exclusive that one's going to have the ballistic staff so i don't know why they didn't do his ballistic staff with this one i mean they they did a sword that's cool but we need more Wait, there's there's so much more. I think I think that looks that's I think that's a pretty cool look. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. That's a cool look for him. Um, let's see. Arkham Knight here. Uh, let's give him. I think didn't he use a grenade launcher in the game? I want to say he did. Let's give him that. Let's give him the grenade launcher. I think that's a cool look. Yeah, yeah, that works. That definitely works for this guy. And unfortunately, um, we we got the finger gun hands for uh, as as cool as it was to get the finger gun hands for the Gotham Knights Red Hood. We only got one swappable hand where he can actually hold a weapon, so he cannot dual wield his pistols unless you get another hand that kind of resembles the glove color of his and the uh, DC Multiverse line. So. I say, let's give him the rocket launcher, because that is definitely something we've seen Red Hood hold before, and under the Red Hood, which was awesome. It's kind of tricky to get it into his hand, though. And what do you, what do you guys think? What? Is this, is this an accessory pack? Are you down for accessory packs to get some missing weapons and things for characters who should definitely have certain weapons, some very specific type of weapons that we just can't get because there's just a ban on certain weapon accessories for certain characters? Um, I'm, I'm glad we got these figures, and I'm glad that McFarland Toys was able to get us something so that some of us other fans could actually complete some of these figures or complete some of the looks of some that some of these characters and figures have um be, because they are they are totally awesome i mean they, they look really really cool uh, there's lots of different combinations we can do here i mean we've even seen peacemaker use a wide variety of a lot of the weapons that are available in this pack so definitely order it it's a i believe it's a mcfarland toy shop exclusive so just go to the mcfarland toys website for this awesome pack right here and i definitely look forward to the next one what's something you would like to see in the next accessory pack though that mcfarland toys does list that in the comments for us real quick if you would 
and what are some characters you would like to get some of these accessories for and not even just your McFarlane toys line but what are what are some cool action figures you would love to see this weapon pack for let us know in the comments Stay tuned for more Bay 12 video reviews. We got all kinds of different reviews here. Like I said, this one was a little bit more of a quick one just because we've had lots of weapons before with characters. Now it's time to get weapons for these characters that didn't have them. So really awesome. Thank you, Todd Father, for such an awesome, awesome accessory pack. I can't wait to see the next one. Like I said, stay tuned for more. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Check out our new physical location at the Willow Bend Mall in North Texas. It's off of Park and North Dallas Tollway. And we'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. It's game over. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.